Hello, and welcome back to the channel. It's Echo Stretch. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can get the 8266 chip ready to go. Um, just a basic tutorial of how to set it up. So this is the one I have. It does have a on and on switch here. Basically, it's one side's for flashing, and the other side is for USB mode. Um, it does have its wireless card on top, which can be plugged in. But there's many different types of uh, units that you can get this is the one i went with i do have it on flash mode now so we're going to go ahead and plug it in i'm going to plug it in doesn't matter if it's 3.0 or not uh, but that's the one i'm going to go ahead and plug it in and we'll jump over to the computer okay so now we're over to the computer we will need three files we'll need our flasher our drivers and as well as the bin that we're going to be using for our 8266 i have lethal's 9 0.00 version 4 here that's the one I'll be flashing with um, so the first thing we need to do is install our drivers if you go ahead and go into your Explorer right click on my computer and go to properties and if you scroll down to device managers um, you can go into your port section you might have it here somewhere with a uh, quotation mark uh, my drivers are already installed but I'm good to go. But if your drivers aren't installed, you can go ahead and just open up the driver program. Go ahead and say yes if it uh, pops up with a message for security reasons. And then go ahead and just hit install. Now it shouldn't take too long to install and you should see your drivers here. As you can see the quotation mark is there and then it's gone. And then what we need to watch for is the port. So it is COM4 and that's the one we'll be using. So we can go ahead and close out of that now that we know our COM. Go ahead and open up our flasher. And we'll go ahead and select our COM4. Then we'll go ahead and browse for our firmware. And we know it's on our desktop. And it's lethals that I'm using. And then we're going to go ahead with yes, wipe all data. This just basically erases everything off of it and it gives it a clean slate. So we'll go ahead and hit flash. Okay, and it shouldn't take too long. As you can see, it is erasing the flash now. Um, once it's done, it will pop up with a message that it is f finished, and that's the message that we're waiting for. Okay, so we're just about done, 95%. It does take a few moments to flash, but uh, once it is done, we'll just wait for that message to pop up. Okay, and there we go. Firmware su successfully flashed, unplugged, and reset device to switch to normal boot mode. So let's go ahead and get it unplugged, and we'll plug it into a USB power source. Um, I don't usually use the PS4 because where it's limited to two uh, USB ports, um, there's many different things you can go ahead and plug it in. I will show you a few. Okay, so we'll go ahead and unplug it. We just want to make sure that we flick the switch back over to the left um, yours may be different it might not have that switch but once you do that we can go ahead and plug it into our power source okay so here's one i ended up getting this uh off amazon pretty cheap uh, but you can go ahead and just plug it in and as you see the light comes on and we're good to go second is just to go ahead and plug it back into your computer whether it's 3.0 or the regular usb port but uh, either one should work Okay, so I know this is upside down, but my favorite is the TV method because you need your TV in order to to play. Okay, so now that we're over to the PS4, we'll go ahead and get logged in. From here, we can just go over to our settings. Go ahead to our network. Go ahead and make sure we do have connect to the internet checked, and then we'll go into set up internet connection. Go with our Wi-Fi, and for this we'll go with custom. Give it a few moments to load the Wi-Fi connections. Uh, once they do come up, whichever bin file you're using, whether it's the Wolfax, Caros, uh, Leafles, uh, there's many more out there. You can go ahead and select the one that you're using, and then you can go ahead and enter the password. Now the passwords could be different. Uh, I believe Caros is one to eight, where Leafles goes right to nine. Um, I could be wrong there, but uh, just make sure you use the correct password, and then you can go ahead and hit OK.
Give it a few moments and it should get connected. So IP address we can go with automatic. Uh, DHCP host, do not specify. Uh, DNS, we'll go with automatic. And then MTU, automatic. And proxy server, do not use. Uh, we don't need to go ahead and test the internet connection as we believe that it will be connected. It's just not going to be able to connect to the outside network because there's no internet to this module. It's just a basic, uh, basic chip we can connect to to launch our WebKit and our jailbreak. So we can go up to User Guide and go ahead and select User Guide. And it should load up the, the site that is correspondent to the bin file that we load on our A266. As you can see, it is going. But yeah, guys, that's basically it for the video. I just want to jump on and show you that. If you did like it, go ahead and hit the like button. And if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.